When creating threads in a modeling environment, you'll now find they are cosmetically rendered on screen. This clearly communicates that a part or face is threaded without creating a geometric feature that would increase computational load. Rendered cosmetic threads are automatically shown for both the external thread feature and tapped holes created from the hole feature. Since the feature is cosmetic to the modeling environment, there is no change to your on-shape drawings. Your thread callouts continue to function in exactly the same way. A new routing curve feature has been added, which assists in the creation of 3D curve geometry. After selecting a starting point for your curve, you can simply use the triad manipulator on screen to move the location in 3D space, and click to add additional points. By default, routing curve will create an interpolated spline between the points you add. You can rotate your manipulator handles and key in values to capture the exact angles and dimension as you see fit. If you need to create a large number of vertices at once, there is an option to import a CSV file directly in the routing curve feature. Changing the curve type to polyline will instead create linear segments connecting each individual point, which is convenient for piping applications. You can also apply an automatic bend radius. In piping, we may also wish to maintain an orthogonal path. Switching over to the Segments tab, we'll pick this option, and then selecting a segment. Onshape will propose several orthogonal path solutions based on the coordinate system of your choice. And from these, you can select. Finally, your path can be used to generate your route geometry using a feature like a sweep or a frame. There are many additional uses and functions for the Routing Curve tool. Please refer to the help documentation for full details. I've imported some mesh geometry, but I'd really like to have a proper BREP surface for this model. This release of Onshape introduces a new constrained surface feature. Selecting individual points, Onshape will create a best fit of surface geometry through those points. Adding additional selections, I can more closely map to the correct shape of the mesh underneath. Showing the curvature analysis tools, we can understand the quality of the surface that's being generated. Adjusting the tolerance, we can see a looser tolerance will provide a smoother quality surface. However, the deviation from the original will be higher. By contrast, a tighter tolerance will more exactly map through the original points, but might compromise the surface smoothness. You can also select the entire mesh body. Changing the Optimize option will change the strategy for mapping between performance and smoothness. Completing the feature will generate a new native surface. It is constrained based on your input geometry, but fully usable as a BREP surface. The Move Boundary feature now includes a new offset option when using any of the up to end conditions. This allows you to create a uniform clearance or interference when referencing another surface. In our example, this makes quick work of extending a surface with design intent so that we can then mutually trim and merge into a single surface. We're designing a support structure for this sheet metal skin, ideally using the frames tool. Our frame element on the left is okay because the skin at that location is planar. However, when we reach the curved region, we encounter a problem. From the origin side, all looks well, but rotating to the far side, we see a gap is generated. 
no matter what profile location is selected within the frames feature, a gap exists because the structural frame element itself does not twist. In this release, you'll find a new option in the frames feature to lock profile faces. This allows the profile face of the frame to twist along its length to maintain the correct alignment with the selected face. This application is quite common when frame elements are supporting a non-planar skin, such as the design of a hull or an aircraft fuselage. Assembly instance folders can now be nested, allowing you to create assembly subfolders. Nested folders can be extremely useful for organization. You can also control the suppression of multiple parts at once by suppressing an entire subfolder. This function can also be utilized in defining configurations. Feature folders in part studios and assemblies can be expanded or collapsed using the arrow to their left. New in this release, an option has been added to their right-click menu, allowing you to expand all folders in a feature or instance list in one go. You can similarly collapse all folders using the same right-click menu. Onshape has long had the ability to export a .3DM file format for use in Rhinoceros CAD. With this release, when exporting to Rhino, you'll find an option to select what file version you wish to output. This will increase compatibility downstream. The Dimension tool can now be used to directly dimension threads. Using a line-to-line -line dimension, we can easily call out the tap drill depth. Using the standard dimension, we'll call out the threaded depth. Selecting the threads themselves will actually create a thread callout. This works for both threaded holes and externally threaded features. An improved workflow has been added to quickly apply custom textures to your appearances. Selecting an appearance, you can now right-click on the color parameter and select the option Use Bitmap File. You may import an image of your choice or use one that has already been added to your document. There are a variety of parameters you can configure to get the mapping just right. In this simple example, increasing the tiling of the image across the part will very quickly yield a desirable result. When assigning appearances quickly, sometimes we apply them to the incorrect part. Whether it was done accidentally or deliberately, you may just wish to restore the appearance exactly as it was in the Parts Studio. You'll find a new option in the right-click menu to link to Parts Studio Appearance, allowing you to quickly restore this link.